what if we forget the password to our Cisco iOS router? Or what if someone has left the company and we have no idea what the password is that they configured on this router? Well, the good news is there's a fairly simple way to do password recovery on our Cisco iOS routers. Let's go out to the live interface and check it out. To get started with password recovery, we need to have the router powered off. I'm going to flip the switch. My router HQ is now powered off and I'm going to power it back on and as it's powering back on I'm going to issue a break command. The break command is going to cause us to go into ROM monitor mode. So let's turn the router back on. I'm going to issue a break command. And you can see that we're now at the ROM monitor prompt. Context sensitive help reminds us of the commands we can issue here. What I want to do right now is set the configuration register. I'm going to say conf reg, and I'm going to set the value to 0x2142. This is going to tell the router to ignore the startup configuration when it boots up the next time. Let's enter that, and we'll do a reset. When the router boots up, I'll be able to log in without a password because we have ignored the startup configuration. And I'm going to speed up the video now so you don't have to watch a few minutes of the router booting up. The router is rebooted now and we're being asked if we want to enter the configuration dialog. We'll say no we do not. And because we're going into the router and we're ignoring the startup config, that means that I'm going to be able to go into privilege mode without giving a password. It's as if we don't have a configuration. In fact, we don't have a configuration loaded into RAM right now. So what I'm going to do is say enable, and this is going to take me into privilege mode without a password, and I can copy the startup config that's in NVRAM over to the running config. Let's do a copy startup config to running config. That's going to copy everything over. With one exception, one thing that doesn't happen here is it does not administratively bring up my interfaces that would have normally been up. If I do a show IP interface brief command, we're going to see that fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and serial 0 slash 2 slash 0, they're administratively down and they need to be up. I'll say for interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0, we'll do a no shutdown. And for interface serial, 0 slash 2 slash 0, we'll do a no shutdown. Let's do another show IP interface brief. And it looks like my fast Ethernet interface and subinterfaces are up. It looks like my serial interface just now came up. Let's issue the command once again. Let's see, serial 0 slash 2 slash 0. Yeah, it is now up. That's good news. So I think we're good right now. And because I'm in privilege mode, I can set whatever password I want to as the enable secret password. Let's go into global configuration mode and we'll say enable secret Cisco. Oh, and one other thing we want to do is we want to change the configuration register value. Let's say config register and we'll put it back to what it normally is, 0x2102. This will tell the router to use the startup config when it boots up. And now we can copy what I've now put in running config. We can copy that to the startup config. And what we've been able to fairly easily do in this demonstration is show that if we have physical access to a router and we can connect into the console port, we can boot the router into ROM monitor mode and in ROM monitor mode use the configuration register value to say ignore the startup config when the router boots up, boot the router up ignoring the startup config, that allows us to go into privilege mode. Once in privilege mode we copy the startup config to the running config, we bring the interfaces administratively back up, we set the enable secret password to whatever we want, we set the configuration register value to say the next time the router boots up, let's do pay attention to the startup config, and then we save our config. That's how we do password recovery on a Cisco router.